Howdy, howdy. Glad you're here. Today we are in Mark chapter 6, verses 45 through 56. So they had just fed the 5,000 and they were trying to get away. They didn't get away. All these people were there waiting for them. And this is where we pick it up. So immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. When evening came, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on land. He saw the disciples straining at the oars because the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he went out to them, walking on the lake. So this is late, like, I don't know, four in the morning, three in the morning, late. He was about to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately, he spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they landed in a Gennesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognized Jesus. They ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages, towns, or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak, and all who touched him were healed. So, Jesus walks on water. Well, the situation is that you know, the, there's these thousands of people. Jesus was already wanting to get his disciples away so that they could get a break. Then they're spending all day with these thousands of people. Now it's getting late. They've eaten. Jesus dismisses the crowd, but first he sends his uh, disciples on in the boat. And then he goes up on a mountainside to pray. From that mountainside viewpoint, he can see the boat, and they're straining at the oars, trying to get across this big lake, and uh, it's not working. And Jesus then, uh, his plan apparently is to just walk across to the other side, but they happen to see him and freak out. So then he has to deal with that. Uh, they didn't, they, you know, that's just wild. Anyway, what's missing from this account? Do you notice something missing? There's nothing about Peter walking on water in the Gospel of Mark. So that's other places. Uh, one of the other Gospels has, you know, Peter getting out of the boat and then famously begins to sink and that sort of a deal. Uh, in this account, skip the whole thing about Peter. What does that tell us? That tells us that lots of things happened that aren't recorded. Like it says in John, you know, if everything was written down, the world wouldn't have enough room for all the books. So... For Peter getting out of the boat to not make the cut, you know, not make the edit, is amazing. So lots and lots of stuff happened. Uh, so then verse 52 is an interesting verse. So when, when uh, Jesus gets into the boat, the wind dies down, they're completely amazed. And then verse 52, for they had not understood about the loaves, their hearts were hardened. So they still didn't realize who Jesus was. You know, they, they had seen these miracles, but they're still kind of putting two and two together. They're still processing it. They're still trying to understand who this is and, and what's going on. You know, it's just too much for them to put together that quickly. And of course, they didn't get their break. So they were going to get a break from all this ministry busy, busyness. They show up, it's full of people, they feed the 5,000. Now they're paddling, uh, you know, they're going against the wind all night. And then when they land at the next place, uh, the people recognize them. They ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. So they didn't get their break. No break there. Um, so as we pray from this uh, story of Jesus walking on water, I want to pray that we understand who Jesus is and who we are in Christ because they didn't understand about the loaves. 
That means that they didn't understand the power of God, the provision of God, the safety that they had in Christ. They didn't understand that. And I don't want us to miss that. I want to make sure that we understand that when we're followers of Christ, He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. He will take us to be with Him. We can trust in Him. We don't have to worry about that. We can have faith in the power of our God to provide for us and to see us through to eternity. And so we should be unwavering in that. Let's understand about the loaves. Let's understand the power of God and who we are in Christ. So let's pray along those lines. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, just being who you are and including us into your family. What an amazing blessing that is. Lord, we trust you. We honor you. We worship you. We give you praise. You are mighty and powerful above all and glorious. And Lord, you invite us into your family. You take care of us, you provide for us, and you will see us through. And so, Lord, we trust in you. Help us to understand who you are and who we are as followers of you. So, Lord, build us up, strengthen us with this, and help us to walk by faith. In Jesus' name, amen.